waiting for a sign to show me my way in. The only point I reach is frustration. Hey guys, welcome back to the third Melbourne luxury shopping vlog. I was going to attach this to the end of the previous vlog, but then I realized I've got a lot of footages and this video might get too long. So I decided to split this up yet again. So this is part three. So today we're heading into the Purse Affair, which is one of the biggest Australian luxury consignment stores. And I know they have a lot of really popular bags that are really rare to come by. So let's head in and see what they've got. and 56 Collins Street in Melbourne City. This is the overview of their beautiful boutique in Melbourne City. Oh my goodness, so many eye candies. So starting with this section here with some Gucci bags, Celine, some LV bags down the bottom. And we have all these Holy Grail Hermes bags. I'm definitely trying some of these. Huge array of Chanel bags. Found a couple of unicorn bags that I really wanted to try. So this is the Birkin 25 in the black Togo leather with gold hardware, many people's holy grail. And it's kind of nice to be able to try this properly and take my time. I actually really love this size. As you can see, it's a bit of a short handle drop, but it's just such a cute size. I think we can all deal with that. I have to try the heart-shaped Chanel bags and see what all the rage is about because it doesn't look like the most practical of bags, but I guess it's cute. So currently the Purse Affair has um, a pink one and a black one as well. So you never get to see these um, bags at Chanel because they're always sold out. You probably have to be a bit VIP away for it. So it's nice for me to at least have a look at these. Since it's a heart bag, let's try the pink one because I think a pink heart is really cute. I think this one should be able to fit a phone. Yeah, I think just. And I guess it's cute. The strap drop is actually quite good. I think you can crossbody it. Yeah, good crossbody length if you're not too tall. Let's have a look. I think there is a flat pocket at the front and a zipped main, main compartment with fabric lining. So these are all selling at a premium. That's what it looks like for anyone who's interested. I'm definitely not converted even after seeing it, but I know it's very popular. I'm trying on the Constance because when I go to the Hermes boutique, they do have Constances on display, but they usually always have like funny colors, but you can never try nice combinations in store. So this one is for Ton with gold hardware. And every time I come to the Purse Affair, I feel like I kind of fall in love with the Constance a bit more because I always thought I'm not a Constance person, but look how nice this one is. The ever so popular mini Lindy. It actually comes off looking larger on screen than it really is. It would be such a nice travel bag, but I again never get to see the mini Lindy in the boutique. That's very nice. My favorite color gold. So I just wanted to see how much the mini Lindy fits. So this is currently my wallet. Oh wow, it's really spacious. And a lipstick. A little hand cream. I don't have any keys right now because I'm traveling. I've just got like a um, hotel key card Ooh, and it's got little pockets inside and this will fit um, any phone easy. So you can just see how much space there is. So nice to be able to see this up close. And of course the Celia Birkin. This is in the size 30. 
So it definitely looks a lot boxier than the regular Retone Birkin, but the Celia Birkin's also growing on me. This is a color sesame, so it's probably a little too yellow for my liking, but um, it's quite a nice neutral. It's actually quite a similar color to that Bendy Petite Peekaboo that I tried on earlier today, which I thought was really nice against this oatmeal sweater. And I am going to have a look at some Dior bags. A lot of you guys actually suggested that if I want a Lady Dew, I should look at the pre-loved market. Oh, let me try this one. It's very similar to the Silver Lizard one that I tried on in store multiple times. I am drawn to these metallic Lady Dior's. I think this is a size medium, so it's quite big, but I love how cool this looks actually. It's very unique. The canage pattern is very like fine on this one. And the medium size isn't actually as big as I thought. I always thought I would either go for the mini or the small, but I would totally do the medium actually. And this is another Lady Dior. Loving that champagne gold hardware. This is again size medium, but because it's in that flexible fabric, I quite like this size. Of course, I'm trying on more Hermes bags. This is the Picotin, the smaller size. And this looks like it too. Yes, it is. And just trying on the little sweet Alhambra butterfly necklace. I think this is more my everyday size. Um, you guys know that I don't really wear my vintage size Alhambra necklace in the Mother of Pearl. But I feel like this is my type of everyday size. You can kind of see that it's a similar size to my CD Cartier necklace that I wear all the time. So it'll be actually quite nice to have a little gold option. What do you guys think? It's really growing on me. And I'm trying on this Pave Diamond Hermes bangle bracelet. Wow, dazzling. So we're on to the unboxing portion of this video. That was the last bit of my Melbourne shopping vlogs and I had a fabulous time at the Purse Affair. By the way, that video was so spontaneous. I have become quite good friends with the owners of the Purse Affair. So that video wasn't like even in collaboration or anything, but I've heard that they opened a really nice boutique in Melbourne CBD. So I just really wanted to go check it out. And there were a few bags that are really rare to come by in stores that they had in stock that I really wanted to check out as well so that was really lovely but anyway i have bought something from louis vuitton as you guys saw in the preview and i'm really really excited to share this with you guys it is not a handbag but it comes with an item that you can potentially use as a handbag especially for vacation and summertime so i'm really really happy that i ended up picking these up so they came in two separate boxes. I am going to open the one of them first and show you what I picked up. So here we have it. As usual, I don't think I bought anything from Louis Vuitton for the longest time. So I'm actually really excited about this unboxing. And it is in that beautiful white tissue paper. And to show you guys, can you guys see what it actually is? Let me open the other box and show you them together. Packed exactly the same way. Ta-da! These are the two parts of the item that I picked up. Now it is really obvious. I did check this one out in the store and if you haven't watched my Louis Vuitton and Chanel vlog, which was part one of my Melbourne shopping vlogs, I'll leave that video linked below as well. So as you can see, I bought this very classic bikini set let me show you the bottom as well so here we are we've got the top and the bottom so it is just a very classic bikini from louis vuitton in this beautiful demi azure print which is very very classy it won't go out of fashion so it is in the navy and the white colorway and of course with the gold v details so v for vuitton i think and it's just got a very simple clasp closure and we've got the navy borders and the bottom is just a very very simple bikini bottom in that same demi azure print in that beautiful classic colorway 
So I don't think this bikini will ever really date. It is just so quintessentially Louis Vuitton. These are the very first set of designer swimsuits I ever bought. I really wasn't sure if I was gonna pull the trigger on these or not because I thought they were just a lot of money for um, some bikinis. But what really made my decision easier was that when I put them on, I am kind of on the flat chested side. These cups, they were so comfortable, but at the same time, didn't make me look way too flat. I often find that with bikinis, if I want a little bit of a push up, they are just so thick and unbreathable. And when they get wet, they take forever to dry. So I don't really like that. But if I go with thin ones like this without any push up function, they often make my chest look really, really flat and, you know, makes my body look really curveless, which, you know, is definitely not very flattering. Just by having that sort of ruching down the bottom, as you can see, it does give you an illusion of sort of fuller bust. So I really appreciated that at the same time still maintaining that very thin comfortable cup. So if you're flat chested like me and you struggle to find comfortable bikini tops that are not overly thick that still give you a little bit of a shape and an illusion of some curves then do look for styles like this. I was so pleasantly surprised. I thought I could never pull off such thin bikini tops that are really comfortable to wear. And the bag part, oh my goodness. Guys, I didn't actually know that Louis Vuitton swimmers came in these beautiful PVC pouches. I know they're not probably the most luxurious looking things and they are slightly on the flimsy side. But as soon as I saw these, I immediately thought, you know what? You can actually use this, not just for these swimmers as a wet bag, but you can actually probably use this as a little clutch bag by the poolside, going out in the evening, during the summertime. I mean, isn't this just a gorgeous little clutch bag? It's in that sort of Louis Vuitton's signature dark orange color with the dark LVs and the fleur de lis. Considering it's just a pouch that comes with your swimmers that you didn't really pay extra for. I mean, if we get technical, of course we are paying for all the packaging and everything. But when I saw that Louis Vuitton swimmers came in these beautiful pouches, I started wondering what other designer swimsuits came in. So I looked up the pouch bags for like Dior swimsuits and Fendi swimsuits and none of them come in such a nice pouch that you can actually double as a handbag. Well, not really a handbag, but like a really carefree, casual clutch bag. Most of the other designer swimsuits actually come in drawstring bags that you can't really use them as actual clutch bags. So I'm actually really excited. I'm going to take these on my holiday when I go to Europe soon. One of them I'm probably going to use as a wet bag for my actual swimmers because to be honest with you, I think both pieces will actually fit in the one pouch. And if you can see, it's actually got a bit of a width. So I think it's a pretty generous size. And then the other one, I'm probably gonna use as a little poolside bag and, you know, little clutch bag that I think I can even take out to dinners and evenings out with my nice Zimmerman dresses, um, even when I'm dressed up. I am just so excited about it. I think it'll look really, really nice with just a t-shirt and some denim shorts or any shorts. And if you don't want the contents of your pouch so visible from the outside and you want your monogram to pop a little bit more, you can always get creative and put a dust bag inside. I've just got a small Louis Vuitton dust bag inside. So I just folded in the flap into itself like that. And I've put my items inside and use this as a little bag. I mean, obviously it's not the most luxurious looking thing, but isn't it just a fun little thing for a vacation or for the summer days and nights? You can also use the pouch as a little catch-all in your larger handbags as I have done here. You can put all your makeup in it or, you know, airports, little tiny bits and pieces that you'd otherwise put in like a mini pochette or something. I mean, who even needs a mini pochette at like over a thousand Australian dollars when you have this little pouch. So that is another way you could totally use this. This is probably how I'm going to use it since it is a see-through bag. I'll probably put all my bits and pieces in a couple of pouches 
and of course because it is a Louis Vuitton piece I am probably gonna put all my you know cosmetic things my keys and everything in a mini pochette and then I can put my cards and keys so this will be my wallet which is the Louis Vuitton key pouch and then I can definitely fit my phone in it as you can see there's still plenty of space I'm just recording on my phone at the moment because you know my camera microphone battery died on me and I just can't find the spare at the moment everything just went wrong which is why this video is so delayed I really wanted to share this video with you guys sooner but anyway you can still put you know tissues or whatever else that you don't really need to hide and close this snap button and voila is it crazy that I'm actually a bit more excited about these pouches than the actual swimsuit? I mean, the swimsuit is beautiful, but this is just such a nice surprise. Is it just news to me? Did you guys know that this came with? Yes, so I know a bit ridiculous, but do let me know what you guys think about this little pouch. And these pouches being in the envelope style, I can even probably put a chain under it and make it a little shorter bag as well. I mean, you guys know that we all like to get creative in the luxury communities. So these pouches definitely made it worthwhile purchase for me to buy the swimsuits. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the swimmers. And when I purchased them, obviously I didn't even know what bags they came in. But when I came back to the hotel in Melbourne, I just had a peek and I just couldn't believe the nice pouches that they came in so yes that is my unboxing from melbourne to be honest with you guys i don't think i've been way too excited about louis vuitton bags and a lot of the bags that many designers do at the moment they are just very trendy very loud so lately i've been more drawn to ready to wear as you saw me shopping in celine i just loved a lot of their denim pieces and you know these swimsuits even in louis vuitton i was checking out all of their ready to wear second and I'm interested in shoes but handbags from a lot of designers haven't really made me feel that excited I am sure there'll be new releases and new bags that I'll be interested in again but just as of late and currently I just haven't been really interested in bags but I've just been really interested in red to wear and swimsuits and shoes and that sort of thing I also want to know if you guys have been feeling that way as well is it because I'm at a stage in my collection where you know I've been collecting for a little while and I do have my classics and I do have a handbag collection that I'm content with or is it just that these days there are just so many new releases and just everything is just so fast paced I am getting a little bit overwhelmed by everything I'd love to know what you guys think anyway if you haven't already watched all my Melbourne luxury shopping vlogs I'll leave them on screen I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as always thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!